Hello all, welcome to Informatica videos. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to create a mapping in data integration which will load data from SQL Server database to a flat file. To begin with, log into IACS and navigate to data integration. This is the home page of data integration and here you need to click on new asset which will open design templates wizard and now you need to click on mappings, select mapping and click create. This is going to open mapping designer. So you need to provide a value name of the mapping and also you need to select appropriate location where your mapping needs to be saved. Post this, you can go ahead and start configuring your source transformation. So in this video, I'll be considering SQL Server as my source connection. I'll go ahead and select employee table as my source object. Once I configure the object, so it will populate the fields available from that table. Once you configure the source transformation, you can go ahead and start configuring the target transformation. In the target transformation, I'll be selecting flat file as my target connection. I'm going to select an existing CSV file. So you can see the target fields from the target object what you have selected. And if you go to field mapping, so you will have multiple options like automatically you can map the fields it is going to match the fields based on the name you have provided or you can select manual and you can drag and drop each field or you can also use smart match which is going to match the remaining fields here. So this is pretty much about configuring a simple mapping. I'll save this mapping and the status will become valid now. Let me run this mapping. So one needs to have a secure agent running with data integration service to run this mapping. So once I run this mapping, you can see the details of the job in my jobs. So currently you can see that it is queued up and the status will change to running and then it will complete. For more information, you can always refer to Informatica knowledge base portal and you can also look into the online help documentation on organization properties. We would love to hear back from you. For any feedback or reviews, please write to us on support videos at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on Infra support. Thanks for watching this video.